All right, guys, welcome back. This should be the final episode tutorial for Nintendo Switch players. So let's continue on where we left off. Answer the call. You can listen or identify, it doesn't matter. You do have a lot of choices in here, so. All right, that's going to take you there. All right, guys. Well, it was. We just don't have access to it yet. So, can you go in through here and get access to that spaceport? Like I said, you got to follow the storyline a little bit. It will get you set up. I'm just showing you how to do it quickly now you can take some time on these planets you don't have to rush through i'm just showing you how quick it is to pretty much get through and this is the actual spot we need to be at all right now we need to get a terrain manipulator etc etc um, I would suggest reforming these and put these in specific things, but that's more advanced. I'm just showing you guys how to get up and out of the system. So we need two carbon nanite tubes and one dihydrogen jelly. We have got enough for that. So need that. And oh. Got that, so we now got a train manipulator. This means we'll be able to mine dirt, uh, the planet around us, and especially the main materials we're going to need. In this case, copper. And copper is 320. We'll go to that one's closer. All right, guys, got the copper. Um, I'm over here where I got the copper. So I'm going into my ship to recharge my exosuit. And then we got to make chromatic metal. Basically, we're going to plop down a base computer, do a few things just so we can get the uh, station activated. Once the station gets activated, then like I said, at that point, we'll have a harp drive and you're free to go explore the galaxy. So, go ahead and set down a portable refiner. That's carbon. Now, basically, what chromatic metal is, is a metal like copper right in there, refined. So we only need about 30, as you can see in the lower right, it tells you how much we got. Need to collect it. We're collecting our copper back. 
unfortunately when you do pick up your refiner you do lose whatever charges in there so he wants to pop down a base computer bam register it basically go into your base computer claim the base Again, I'm doing this quick just to show you how easy it is to get it done and carry on. Uh, search base computer. So you that it's does not take you long to get off. All right. So the foundation. Bam. Build three timber walls. One, two, three. Build a roof. We'll go with the fancy one. Roof built. And build the door. Done. Our little shack. And here's where it finally continues on. You build something simple like that, it'll allow you to get on. So we're not keeping this one here. There's a storm. So we'll just go back into our little thing. Uh, hold secrets both plants, so. Alright. Yeah, it's a ferret dust thing, so. Grab some ferret dust. Or wait, no. We are going to use pure ferrite. That creates magnesium ferrite. And production. Okay, we need twenty of that. One nine nine two. Not a problem at all. We almost have twenty. Create some of that. That looks good. And take that. There we go. And it's, as you can see, it is kind of guiding you on what to do. Now we've got all that. Build a construction computer. Bam. And there we go. That works. Uh, right. We need to get one burial technology module. I'll go do that and I'll meet you guys back here. Okay? Alrighty, guys. I'm back. Got the salvage data module. Um,. I went ahead, as you can see, I got 32. What I went ahead and did was did a easy dupe, which if you look on my channel, I do have a video of how it's done. Um, and as far as I know, it works on all platforms. So we got the salvage data. So we're gonna do buildable technology and teleporter um save beacon and base computer now we gotta rename it so we're gonna make this easy we're gonna put 
Rename. There we go. Renamed. Need four metal plates. There we go. We got four. Two nanite carbo nanite tubes. It's done. Got sodium. Now they want us to build a teleport module. Boop. Done. All right, powering the base. Um, okay, they just want to do it. Let me get through the, or now well, I'll show you how easy it is. We need a bioreactor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me bioreactor. There we go. Got a bioreactor. We're going to need that. And it's probably going to ask for that. We're going to get some of that. And we're going to get that. Um, it wants you to use a bioreactor, but I'm not big on using bioreactors. So... We do not have the gold. So I guess we do have to use a bioreactor. <laughs> Let's get a metal plate. That's all it requires. Um, how about the battery? I need to get that sperm. Hmm. Okay. So they want us to build a bioreactor. I do not have enough oxygen. So I'm gonna go get some oxygen. I'll be back. Make sure I have all the parts for you guys. So. Alright guys, got enough oxygen. Have to be two planes right there. So, let's go ahead and pop down the bioreactor. Bam. Then they're going to want us to snack, so we go bloop. Bloop. There we go. Connected. And they want us to fuel the bioreactor. Not a problem. There you go. It's fueled. Like I said, this is how basic it needs to be for you to get up to that point. Alright. Got that. Nice contractor, please. Alright. Go check the base computer. And... Space station. Now we get the space station unlocked. I'll uh, we'll see you guys when we get the space station. Alrighty, that music, ladies and gentlemen, tells you you're about to be free and explore the galaxy. Because getting to the space station is one of the biggest milestones. I will tell you that right now. So let me go around. You just got to talk to people on here.
Alright, talk to a few people and you get that. Uh, for later use. Grab your inventory at the Exo Merchant. And I would recommend every time you go to a new system, go here and go to the anomaly. Now, the space station does cost units, so doesn't the one. Or no, they're free. My bad. And let's go back to our base. Alright, now we're back. We go to the base computer. And we need to go to the distress signal. Easier to take a ship now that you get your ship up and running. And we can always make more launch fuel. So I'm not too worried about that. We just need to be able to get out of the system. And it is going to take us over here. To the crash freighter. It always does. Now you can do the crash freighters. There are hiccups hidden packages but if you're just trying to get out and be free at that point I would not I would ignore it for now And our hyperdrive. We need five microprocessors and chromatic metal. So let me go ahead and round up the, the chromatic metal and I'll show you how to get microprocessors. Alrighty guys, I'm on the space station, took the teleporter, got some stuff, got some things. So we need five microcomputers. So sell all the junk that you are not going to need at this time, which is basically anything that's advanced, like these crystal fragments. So sell that, you get a bunch of units, because you're going to need a lot. Microprocessor, we need five of them, which as you can see is going to cost us 130,000 units. And then... If you ever run across these, grab them. You'll find out national navigational data is very useful in this game. Ah, they changed it up. All right, and then go into your ship. Need more launch thrusters. And we're going to install the hyperdrive. Bam. Bam. Hyperdrive is installed. But we need warp cell formula. And they will give you the blueprints for that. Let's go get some antimatter and now we'll give us the warp cells. 
See, we're almost done and ready to leave the system. Thing's pretty busy. And let's go there. Alrighty, we're here at the place. Um, it gives you a signal over there, but once you see a building nearby, it's most likely going to be that building. I'll just let you know that right now. Go ahead and activate the scanner. And let's go get our warp fuel. If you guys think you can handle it, you can destroy these eggs. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, you can save residual goop and all that and refine it all the way up to nanite. Antimeter matter. Now we need to assemble an antimatter housing. Basically, it's taking you through the steps on here how to craft for warp cell. We'll just go ahead and go through that. So you need antimatter and you need a. Oh, we need ferret dust. Let me go grab that. I thought it was ready. Alright, where was I? <laughs> One of those. And then after you get both of them, you can craft the warp cell. Put the warp cell crafted. Put it right into your hyperdrive. And we've got launch thrusters. We've got a pulse drive. We got a ship that's repaired. And We've got a hyperdrive. So. Ladies and gentlemen of the Nintendo Switch world, welcome to the start of an all new adventure for you guys here in No Man's Sky. Once you get that hyperdrive, that's it. You guys are free to explore the galaxy. You can upgrade your ships as needed. Everything at this point. At this point in the game, you are free to explore the galaxy. And even get to the center of the galaxy and jump off from there, go to another galaxy. You can explore systems, solar systems, and everything. Get yourselves a freighter, turn that into your base. You got a roaming base, you can teleport to and from your freighter, which is awesome. And as you can see, we are in a completely separate system. And then from here, as you can see, the story will kind of continue on. And it will automatically go through everything. Uh, as you continue down there, you'll be able to call in the anomaly. And, but like I said, I'll get you guys up to hyperdriving. At that point, you are free to go wherever you want to. I would suggest follow the storyline a little bit. And that's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, Nintendo Switch users, thank you for letting me help you guys out. Get you guys free. And, of course, welcome, Nintendo Switch users, 
to No Man's Sky.